So we're going to demonstrate here a picture of the heart and we're going to put some colour on it but we start off with just a pen drawing of it. We're drawing the pulmonary trunk here because it's the nearest structure to us and now having put the left and right branches of the pulmonary artery in we're going to put in the aortic arch starting just to its right and we put in its branches the brachycephalic artery, the left common carotid and the left subclavian. And then it descends behind the left branch of the pulmonary artery. And now in goes the superior vena cava, again on the right side of the aortic arch. It's made up of the left brachycephalic vein, which has just gone in, and the right brachycephalic. Then at the level of the sternomanubrial junction, in comes the azygos arch. And then there is the right atrium, the right ventricle, and then we're going to put in the left and also the right auricles. And then the rest of the left side of the heart being the left ventricle. And now we can put in the arteries, the main left coronary artery with its anterior interventricular branch and the right coronary going off round into the right side of the <clears throat> atrioventricular groove. The ductus arteriosus, which are now, of course, is the ligamentum arteriosum, goes in next. And we just enlarge the left and right auricles. And now we're putting water, just plain water, onto the picture. We're using watercolour paper, so it's going to absorb it quite nicely. And having put our water in, we then put a wash in which doesn't necessarily need to resemble the final colour. We're using a yellow ochre uh, and it runs in nicely into the wet paper. And then we need a bit more colour on these, on the anterior surface of the heart. We're assuming that the light's coming from the left side of the picture. And we can put in some shadows, just a mixture of neutral tint. And then the pulmonary artery needs to be coloured. Note how when we put paint onto these vessels, we leave an area in the middle which is reflecting the light. And that gives it a rounded appearance. Once again, the shadowing goes in to suggest that the light's coming from the left side. And then some colouring again, leaving spaces for reflections on the aorta. And if possible, again, we're leaving a little bit of light on those vessels to give them a rounded appearance. And then to give the branches and the aorta some shadow, again the light coming from the left side, so we put the shadow on the opposite side. And then the superior vena cava with its branches, again leaving a little bit of light on the vessel, give the feeling that it's round. We're using a tiny little brush and a very small box of watercolour paints.
Uh, here goes in the vessels, the branches of the left coronary artery and the right coronary artery with its oblique branch, marginal branch. And then finally, with our little box of watercolours, we're going to put a second coat to give it a bit more depth and colour, leaving a fair amount of white or the underlying colour showing so that we get the feeling that there is light shining on the surface of the heart. Plenty of water, a nice loose wash. And then because the right atrium is over on the left side of our picture, we'll put a little bit more lighter colour on that. And then finally, let's just have a little bit of purple on the pulmonary artery and its branches, just to suggest that this is largely deoxygenated blood. Perhaps a little bit of shadow on the superior vena cava. And then let's add the inferior vena cava. And that's taken exactly seven and a half minutes to do. And I think you'd have enough time probably after your operation.